My name is Darren Goodman. I'm an applications engineer for Conga Tech in the United States, and I'm here to show you how easy it is to make your own BIOS modifications using the free Conga Tech system utility software. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to create your own custom embedded panel interface module and incorporate this into your Conga Tech module's embedded BIOS. Please note, Congatech system utility software allows for the modification of the system BIOS. As such, even with integrated check routines, it is still possible to corrupt a BIOS or a BIOS file, making the module no longer bootable. For this reason, it is strongly recommended to use a Congatech evaluation carrier board or a Congatech debug board that incorporates an external firmware hub BIOS chip specifically for the recovery of a corrupted BIOS. The Congatech System Utility Software Program allows you to make changes to the BIOS ROM file, module board directly, or create your own EPI data file. Selecting EPI file only and selecting the panel configuration will open up a panel configuration window. Since we are creating a file without a module or BIOS file attached, the top selection and options are not available. Selecting the Edit Create EPI Dataset file opens up the EPI Dataset Generator window. Within this window, the user will have to add information specific to the display following a formula presented later in this video. The left side is for user data and creation date information, and don't forget about the bits per pixel setting. This chart shows the field settings from the top center of the EPI dataset generator window. The formula for embedded di display ID or embedded panel interface files is listed here. On the datasheet for this display, we have an 800 by 480 pixel display. And on the timing specifications under the typical settings, I'm going to highlight the settings that we're going to be using on this formula. Once you look at these settings, and then add in the numbers from the data sheet, we come up with our final numbers. These are the numbers we're going to use to create our own EPI data file. For this demonstration, on my bench, I have a Conga CEVAL, which is ComExpress Evaluation Carrier Board, a Conga BM45 ComExpress module, the back flat panel is an analog VGA, and to the right is my target panel. If you note, the panel is a blank display with just the backlight lit. From the desktop, I'll select and run the CG Utility Program, select the board, and then select the Panel Configuration button. Under the dataset entries in the BIOS EPI module, you'll notice that the top three, OEM 1, 2, and 3, are empty. These are reserved for customer use. Selecting OEM 1, and then select the Edit and Create EPI Dataset file, opens up the window for the EPI dataset generator. Within this window is where you enter the information from the previous slide. Entering all the information from my previous slide and making sure that all the information is correct, I'll go ahead and click on the Save EPI dataset file. Doing this, I'm going to name the file I just created, test, test.bin. Now what I need to do is update the selected data set. I click the update button, I select my bin file, the test.bin, and you'll notice the message at the bottom of the screen says it's successfully added. From here I'm renaming the BIOS. I'm going to call it EPI underscore test, apply the settings, save and exit, and reboot the system. After the system reboot, I hit the delete key to enter the BIOS and CMOS setup. Under the advanced, under graphics configuration, I scroll down to the boot display device and change that to LFP only. Additionally, I'll scroll down to the local flat panel type and change that from auto to customize EDID number one. From here, I'm going to save and exit and reboot.
Upon save and exit from our BIOS and CMOS, you'll notice that the analog flat panel display is no longer active, and their WVGA display, the 800 by 480 24-bit display, is now functioning perfect. So this is success. For additional information, please visit our website at www.congatech.us, click on the Support tab, click on Application Notes, scroll down and select Application Note 12 called Create and Modify EPI Files using the Congatech System Utility Software. Additionally, you can find under Documentation the User Guide for the Congatech System Utility. Thank you. Congatech the rhythm of embedded computing.